Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Tips Tuesday. We have a very special episode for you today, starring the one and only Mark Ashton, the CEO of Foundation for Blind Children. How are you doing today, Mark? I'm doing great, Alex. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, can you tell the people at home a little bit about how you got connected with FBC? Well, almost 27 years ago, my son Max was born, and when he was diagnosed with Liebers, and uh, we the Foundation for Blind Children showed up on our doorstep the next day to start early intervention, and eventually he came to the preschool here, went to public school, and now he's working for a U.S. senator. So, so it's been a great ride, and that's how I became a board member and then eventually the CEO. Well, we are lucky and honored to have you as the, at the head of our ship. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so a few weeks ago, we did uh, Teaching Tips Tuesday with Leanne Grillet about the abacus. And then Mark reached out to me saying that after all these years, he has never been taught how to use an abacus. So I thought what a perfect opportunity to give a little tutorial for the folks at home. Do you have your abacus? My abacus. There okay, we're going to be doing this mirrored. So it's going to be a little bit on the tricky side, but I, okay. I feel good about it. <clears throat> so uh, take a moment to look at your abacus normally. Okay. We have, it's covered in beads. That is our first obvious thing that jumps out. These beads represent the different place values of numbers. So all the way on the right edge of our abacus is the ones column. If you were to slide up a single bead, you have now set the number one. We can then continue through two, three, four, but now we're all out of ones beads. So what we do is we slide these back down and then slide down our fives beads. So right, this is so the first one, one, right? Yep, this okay. is worth five. And it's worth okay. five of whatever place value you're in. So here it's five, here it's 50, 500, 5,000, all the way up to five trillion. So oh. you can do some serious math on an abacus all the way up to the trillions column. I don't think we're going to be getting to that today, Mark. So don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Baby steps. Basically, to set a number, it's all about if it's touching that bar in the middle. So for the number eight, let's see if I can do this backwards. Mm, nice. I have my fives bead and three ones beads. Uh, you oh. have set the number. Oh. Okay, thank you. 35. Okay. There we go. Okay. All okay. right. So here's a test of your understanding, Mark. Without any explanation of the tens column, can you set the number 64? Okay, so I think I want to go 4, 50, 60. Beautiful. 64. There you go. That's it. Is that right? Yes, exactly. So you have wow, 50, okay. 10 is 60. So it's a very logical, understandable tool, especially to somebody that already has number sense. But the abacus is a beautiful tool for teaching that early number sense to students of visual impairments because it is all entirely tactile. Uh, one of my favorite parts about it, looks like you have a pretty crisp abacus. Even if you shake it around a little bit, do your beads move? No, uh, this is brand new. I just got mm, out of our yeah. library. Oh, nice. Just straight from the ARC. This yes. is a nice, crisp Cranmer abacus. So, yeah, it stays played. It does not move until you intentionally engage with it. Yeah, there's a felt right. behind here, a cushioned felt in the back. Yeah. Let's try to do some simple addition. Let's start with three plus seven. Now, Mark, could we do that in any order that we want? Don't know. Teacher is seven Alex. plus three the same as three plus seven? Yes. Yes, because addition is commutative. So what number do you want to start with? The three or the seven? Oh, so I can do uh, <clears throat> five, seven. And seven. Okay. And we're going and to use what's called the counting method. So a lot of okay. people make the mistake at this stage is that the next bead they'd slide up, they'd say eight. But then you don't know how many more numbers you're adding. So the first number you slide up, you're going to say one. One. And then two. But here we are. We're all out of ones beads and we still have one more to go. We clear our entire ones column, slide down a tens beat or slide up a tens beat, I'm sorry, and say three. Three. You missed one bead. Oh, there you go. So that is one of the most important steps when you're teaching a student how to use an abacus, how to use that synthesis over the bar. I like so to consider I, this, this is only for five. So multi this is not for, task. I'm sorry, this is only for five not ten so this mean? means okay so just i'm just trying to understand this so that number right now means 11 
No, it means 10. Just 10. Yeah. This would be 11. Oh, thank you. OK. OK, does that make a little more sense? It does. All right, let's take it the other direction. Let's do some subtraction. Let's do okay. 16 minus 8. Okay, so. Then. Uh, five. Six. Ten. There you go. Beautiful. You have 16? Your 16 set nice and clean. Yes, you do. OK. All right. So now we're going to count down starting at one. What is the first step you think we should take? One. One. Perfect. It's 16 minus what? I'm sorry. Eight. Eight. OK, one. And I'm, am I going to take five away? You got it. Five. So that's Maybe six. One more thing you need to do. Slide up your one speeds. All of them. All of them. Why all of them? OK, so we were just at functionally the number 15. We had taken away one from 16. When you're counting down, you wouldn't go from 10 all the way down or 15 to 10. You would go from 15 to 14. Oh, OK, so uh -huh. I have to one one beat at a time type of thing. OK, OK, so that's two. Then we go three, four, five. Six, they're all out of ones beats. So think about this with your number sets. We're at 10, we need to go to nine. Okay, so this means 10. Oh gosh, I'm gonna mess this up. There you go, beautiful, that's it. Wow, Braille was much easier to learn. Oh, I, <laughs> I could not disagree with you more on that one, Mark. All right, I so had the opportunity. serves. I had the opportunity, Alex, when Max was a child to learn Braille along with him. And Max just didn't bring home an abacus. He just left it at school. So I never got this experience, but I did get the experience of learning Braille as he learned it. And um, obviously I learned it by vision, but um, this is a whole new world. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so we're at five. We still have three more numbers to move. Wait, we haven't got to. Gosh. Does that look like the correct answer of 16 minus 18? It's eight, right? Oh, gosh. So we should go five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Oh, no. did we mess it up? Oh, I think I got distracted in my counting. Okay, we 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 digressed in the middle and that took I'm us sorry. away a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just do this one real fast. So we have 16. We take away one. This puts us at, oh, I set the number 56. Doing this in mirror was much harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, now I have 16. I take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So my answer is, of course, eight. Wow. Five plus three. That's that's the eight. Mm -hmm. And eventually this becomes a very motoric process it's, it's not you're not thinking about the math of it you're just thinking about the steps all right my final challenge for you on the abacus today mark you can put it down i'm going to put my down because we're going to do this next problem completely tactile so we are going to make unbroken eye contact okay throughout this next problem all right do you want to do an addition or a subtraction addition for me if you don't mind sure absolutely let's do a two digit by a two digit let's do 36 plus 14. Okay. <laughs> okay. 36. So I just put in 36 plus 14. So I have to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I cheated. I looked down. 36 plus 14. Um, I'm trying to do it by digits here. I did the four and I need to do a 10. Don't look down. Do a 10. Okay, I think Play I did. All, it. Ten speeds. all right, don't look down. That's cheap. Let's see what you got. No. We have arrived at oh, 36 plus 14. 36 plus four is 40, plus 10 is 50. So I, I think I. I you, right. Oh, man. 
So I gave you a really hard one. You had two pieces of synthesis you had to do. You had to cross over your nines bar into the tens place, and you had to convert a uh, 40 into a 50. So I did give you a pretty hard one to do. So I just want to I want to apologize to all your viewers. I am not <laughs> a good student, and uh, I hope that they took something from this other than the fact that I can't count um, or I'm not a good student. But I hope they learned something from it today. Absolutely. I, th I hopefully we showed everybody that the abacus, even though you did have some trouble on that last problem, is a relatively quick to understand device that does have a lot of very practical mathematical value. Well, Alex, it was it was great, and um, it just it goes to show that um, tools like this are important, and it's uh, for our students all, all over the country. And so I'm glad you were able to show me a little bit as a, a parent. Uh, now, Mark, there's one more question that yeah. nobody can escape from on Teaching Tips Tuesday, and that is, what is your favorite part of your job? But my favorite part of my job is telling our story, telling the story that our kids can do anything. And um, it's a powerful story and all over the country, all over the world. Um, I just want parents to know and students to know they can do anything. And with simple tools like this, they can do math like everybody else. And we have engineers, we have doctors, we have lobbyists, we have attorneys, you name it, our kids are doing it and it's possible. And as parents, I hope they all understand that they can, their kids, their child can do anything. Absolutely. Well, thank you again so much, Mark, for being on this wonderful episode of Teaching Tips Tuesday. I had a very fun time. And thank you so much to everybody at home for giving us another watch. We hope to see you next week.